good skill out here. I got my Kirby all taken apart. Oh, man. So this all started because the neutral drive pedal literally fell out. Or I should say, that fell out. If you start hearing a clicking noise, there's a good chance that this lever, lever is going to come off. This video is specifically how to put the lever back on this, but also, wait, I'll include everything you got to do to get to that point. It's not just put the lever on. You can't just pull this out. You got to pull the drive out to pull the drive out. You got to pull some stuff apart. So you will want to clean all this up. It's really dirty in here. This one is about eight years old. This one is a Centria 2. You don't want grease and oils in there. That is going to allow it to slide. You don't want that. So you use a little degrease, degreaser on here. Let that sit. You don't, don't get it on the plastic stuff. Just get it on the gears. Let that set for a minute and then we'll wipe it off. Follow the instructions of whatever degreaser you are using. Put this in with drive pushed down. You want to put this on and I'm hoping I can get the right angle so that this right here is parallel with the bottom. I'm hoping that that shows it is par the bottom right here is parallel with the plastic piece. That's where you want it. I have a socket that just barely goes over. All right, so I pushed in it just a little more. Now we got to make sure. Okay, my, this one's a little stiff but it's worked with your your uh, foot, unless you want to bend down there and do it. I mean, that's up to you. <laughs> so it's worked with your foot, and that should be fine. Use something here, super glue, if, you know, uh, some kind of glue. JB Weld, like I said, will literally stick these together. It ain't gonna come off. Use whatever product you want. If you want to use something, if you don't use something, it may stay on there for a little while, but understand when this, when you hit neutral and it presses turns, this is being pushed out. This is a Torque 20. And be sure to keep your screws organized where you know where they go. Cause like this one, it's a one off plastic. That will free that up. There's a little uh, hook in there that'll pop off. And then you slide it back and up to get that off. Hopefully that's in the frame. That's the hook right there. That gives you access to these two screws. And these, by the way, are a yet a different one. That's four so far. That will allow you to move this out of the way. On off switch, we'll pop up, just lift it straight up. This metal rod is what actually goes to the switch. Just pull it out to get into this stuff. So this one should actually be here. So pretend it was, and we took it out again. That's a fifth type of screw. All right. 
switch in that belt. On off switch out of the way. Motor drive wheel come right out. So I greased, I put some grease right here on that ramp and I put a little grease there so that this will move easier. There is a little notch here that hopefully you noticed when you took it out. And you put align this like so. Slide it under the drive axle. Get that plastic little notch in place. Hopefully you can see, that's how it goes in there. If you look down in here, you're gonna see where this screw with the washer goes. And you're gonna line it up. Make sure you don't cross thread this. This is kind of a, I will just say this thing is a pain getting this one in. Hopefully you might be able to see it in there. There's a screw coming in as you can tell from back here. So, okay. And that's what holds this mechanism. And I hope you can see how that's working. I greased that, like I said. There. Ta-da! Now that should work. So this is back on. Now we get to put everything back in. It's just the reverse of what we started. Hold this up. Oh, and I did put the belt in on the drive that's attached to the motor. Slide that in. There, you gotta push that down like so, so it clears. Now the U-shaped, okay, let me get the belt on first, mostly. The U-shaped here, goes in there. Make sure your belt is on. Okay. Your drive assembly is now back together. And you're going to want to go ahead and tighten it. Belt's in, that's in. Yeah, now the on-off switch. So the on-off switch, right here, that's where the rod goes. So you want to slide it in like so. And put those in. There it is. Bump the camera, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to put this back on. These are yet that other type of screw. This one just does not want to line up. All right. This piece front slides in forward. That snaps down. You got yet that weird screw. It's just going into plastic.
All right. Seriously, why are these not wanting to go back in? It's just barely snug on that. Still works. Still works. Put the uh, handle back on. <laughs> All right, I got a confession to make. My wife took this off. She knows how to do this. Yeah, there it went. Let's drive. Yeah, doesn't want to go. Neutral. Hey, look, it moves. Runs. I can push and pull. I now have drive. If I can show you. There you go. <laughs> Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment. Good luck with yours.